My name is Linda Vlosserod. I'm program director at the International Newtown Institute and I've set up the New Newtowns program in Shenzhen. We are here today uh, for a conference called Shenzhen from Factory of the World to World City as uh, we wanted to, well, say, um, share the knowledge that we've gained in the last couple of years with the local partners in Shenzhen and the Dutch partners as they're coming from universities and companies and the city of Almere, for instance, but also local governments from Shenzhen to, um, well, explain what we have been doing and also share that knowledge and see if others can benefit from that. So it's interesting to look at uh, Shenzhen as a, as a new town but also as a new town, with, which is representing, of course, the developments taking place in Chinese urbanization. But a new town always has very specifics. And what we're actually to do, trying to do with uh, projects like this for Shenzhen is to contribute to the ideas, the visions, the planning, and actually the building of these new towns to improve them. So that is actually the reason that we set up this, uh, this project, New New Towns, of which the Shenzhen um, uh, project is a part. The whole notion of the program is of course that it's about mutual exchange, um, so that uh, we believe that we can bring certain knowledge to Shenzhen, but that also uh, that we can learn from it. Um, we are not used to the speed and to the scale. These are very obvious things when you talk about China. But I think that the informality and the way the self-organization is taking place within Shenzhen is something that is definitely mirroring our own developments in terms of letting go of top-town planning. Everyone uh, repeat this term that Shenzhen is an instant city. It has no history, has no past. It went from a small village or nothing to the metropolis. And for me, that it's, it's not possible for uh, a place to be without context. Uh, as, a, as a designer, as an architect, I believe uh, whatever we do, we need to first understand the context and the site, and that is more than physical. So what I chose to talk about today are the, the history of the villages in Shenzhen, which have existed in Shenzhen for thousands of years. If, uh, and many of the villages uh, continue to be active contributors to the city even today. And I think that today made it very clear that the society is organizing itself very well, um, uh, out of necessity, but also out of the fact that Shenzhen is a city where, which is constantly in flux, and there's a lot of floating populations, a very young age, so there's a lot of po there are a lot of possibilities. Shenzhen is actually recognized as this big factory for the world at the very beginning because of you know so close to the PRD, and there's a network of factories and manufacturing base because of the very cheap labors. And right now there is such a, like a, a suddenly like a big change in terms of the industrial restructuring of it because you know on the one hand you know people cannot really afford the labor costs anymore because that is increasing. But on the other hand I think the workers are actually being more skillful and more educated. So instead of just producing whatever things they give them to produce, they actually start to innovate. And that actually start to connect Shenzhen uh, to like the rest of the world, like in terms of this kind of uh, technologies and uh, creative industry. We most of the time talk very much about um, the story of Shenzhen as you have the government and you have the society and there's nothing in between. While we think that there's a lot more combinations possible and I think that also today during the different discussions and also the presentations, uh, it became very clear that it is much more diffuse and much more broad than we say also from a Western perspective could ever imagine. I think it has been a very inspiring day, um, but that we should talk about mutual exchange much more instead of exporting ideas because if you don't have the knowledge or the right way to work together, then basically nothing is feasible. So we started with a finding out if we could find interesting stakeholders, interesting partners, uh, but what we learned from today is that it's much more mutual and that we can learn much more from Shenzhen than we fought from the start. Mm -hmm.